Daniel, what is it like for you? I mean, you, we know you here in the Berlin Philharmonic as a conductor. We know you as a pianist and we love having you here every time. What for you are the differences between performing as an instrumentalist and performing as a conductor? How do you approach the two roles? In what ways are these two roles different for you? Musically, of course, they are the same. Musically, of course, they are the same. But a conductor, you play an instrument yourself, so you know a conductor does ha doesn't have any physical contact with the physicality of sound. Everybody always talks about the great power of conductors. That's nonsense. If you are unable or unwilling to play in such a way as I, as a conductor, would like you to, you don't do it. And I am totally helpless. But it's not just that. It's the fact that you cannot really have a physical contact with the sound. You know? Look. Do you hear anything? No. But well, you heard. Mm. This is the difference. And don't forget that the, the soul of the music is physical. When we talk about the soul, we think of something that we imagine and we feel and all the things. But in music, it is physical. And therefore, uh, in an ideal world, there should not be conductors who don't play an instrument and don't compose. And I think that the development of conducting as an exclusive profession dates from some time in the 20th century. Until then, there were composers, instrumentalists, and conductors. Liszt, Bülow, Brahms conducted, Strauss, all of them. Uh, and I think the ideal musician can, has to be able to do all three. Because as a composer, you have a contact with the anatomy of the music. You see the score and you see not only the blood uh, uh, that is in the, mu in the music, but you see the bones and the muscles, really like an anatomical thing. And this is why composers who are great conductors, they don't come very often, but when they are, like Pierre Boulez, this is what you get from him you get the fact that he has a very clear idea of the anatomy of the music. And then if you can play an instrument, you get the physicality of the sound and you have to be able to conduct. Mm. 